So some time ago we did a video showing how to use the uh, our little AutoFix D1 light scan tool in order to perform an e injection pump timing procedure on the Chevy 6.5 liter diesel. Um, since then we received a lot of follow-up questions on whether the D1 light would perform the TDC offset learn procedure. Uh, so we're just going to touch on that real quickly. Um, so going to the service manual, um, First thing to know is, is when the TD offset procedure should be done. Um, basically, if the engine has been replaced, if the engine front cover has been replaced, or if the PCM or injection pump have been replaced, then the TD offset learn procedure should be done. You actually don't need a scan tool to perform the learn procedure. You only need a scan tool in order to read what the TDC offset um, new learn position actually is. The, the vehicle itself, GM gave the vehicle itself the ability to, to do the procedure on its own. Uh, so here's the procedure. Um, as you can see, the spec is minus 0.25 to minus 0.75 degrees. Um, so you install the scan tool, uh, start the engine, and then operate the vehicle until the engine coolant temperature is greater than 170 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see here on our AutoFix D1 light, the engine coolant temperature is currently 179.6. So we've already done that step. Uh, if there's any DTCs uh, set in the system, you need to clear those. Um, then turn the ignition on with the engine off, which we've already done. And then we need to hold the accelerator pedal uh, wide open um, for a minimum of 45 seconds. And this step prepares the PCM to act, activate the offset learn internally. Uh, following that, um, you turn the ignition. Oops, sorry, I just lost my page. Okay, uh, back with you here. Uh, so following that, we turn the ignition off for 30 seconds. Um, in this step, the PCM is powered down. Um, then you go ahead and restart the engine. <laughs> And then we need to verify on the scan tool that the coolant temperature is still above um, 170 degrees, which it is. We're at uh, 177.8. Um, if it's not, then we need to operate the vehicle until the desired ECT is achieved. And uh, once, once it's achieved, uh, then a new offset will overwrite the previous one. Um, so at this point we can go ahead and check and see what our TDC offset is. We can find it here. Take just a moment to scroll through and find it. Okay, and there's, you can probably see our TDC offset. Our new learned value is minus 0 0.26 degrees. Uh, so it is just in the factory range of minus 0 0.25 to minus 0 0.75. So if we were outside of that range, um, then we would need to perform the adjustment. Uh, the adjustment's done by turning the engine off, uh, loosen the injection pump flange nuts, and then you adjust the injection pump um, either either right or left um, in order in order to uh, achieve the desired. Um, position and then go, basically go through the, the same procedure that we just did um, to, to check and see if, if you achieved the adjustment that will allow the TDC offset learn to be in the correct position. Uh, so summary is an answer to the question that many have asked uh, is, is yes the AutoFix D1 light can be used to perform the TDC offset learn but again it's basically the vehicle's computer that's doing it. You're, you're commanding the computer to do it using the, the procedure uh, that, that I walked you through where you're holding the throttle pedal in the wide open position for 45 seconds, cycling the ignition, etc. And the scan tool is just used to read the new learned TDC offset positions. Uh, so any, any questions or anything, uh, feel free to contact us in the comments. Thank you for watching.